Hi, my name is Chris. I'm the founder of Racket Booking. I'm going to take you through step two in setting up your club in Racket Booking. So go to settings and staff. Here you can see you didn't add any staff yet, so click the add staff member button. You will see a new screen where there's a lot of form fields you have to fill out. Fill them up with the information for, for your staff member. First name, last name, title, description, pretty much all the, the different information you want on your staff members. Uh, you can add birthday, uh, pictures of them, uh, add their phone numbers and so on. Uh, it's important that you, you add the correct phone number and the correct email since uh, we're going to be sending out login information to their email so they know that uh, they've been added to the system and they know their username and login that will be sent automatically uh, when you set up the, the staff member also remember to put correct country code and cell phone number in case uh, they should receive SMS from the system as you can see you can add a photo as well and we've automatically assigned a username and password to the new staff member you add here but you can change that if you don't want the, the staff member to have a, a generic username you can change it to a username that you want and you can change the password to, to any password that you want um, as you can see we put in the working hours and uh, you can select for the week when the working hours are, are supposed to start and end. So for each day, um, I'm just selecting here some various hours that this staff member has to, to, to work at. Um, if you want the staff member to have days off simply just select uh, the the first time the first hour slot as uh, seven and the next one as seven as well very easy uh, below this you can choose uh, if the staff member is active or inactive and you can add a few comments if you want now this section is uh, access levels this actually is where you decide if the staff member should, should or should not be able to see different uh, sections uh, of the site. So for each section you can choose if they are allowed to, to view, insert, edit or delete. This is uh, individual for each staff member and each coach as well. Uh, we believe it's very important that uh, this is, that they can, that you can set this for each staff member because it's different what roles your staff members have. So click add staff member and we've added the, this person to your staff. Uh, you can see you can click inactive and inactive there. You can uh, view and you can edit as well. You just keep doing this with all the staff members you have and that's easy. Here in the envelope, you can send login again if you want that, and you can also edit directly from there. Very simple, easy to use. Now we go to step three. Thanks for watching.